G'day viewers, Peter from Mike Bonza channel and today I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to move objects in Final Cut Pro. I've got one of my previous videos on the screen at the moment and I'm just going to show you how to move objects without doing too many keyframes, okay? So let's start off with this one here. We'll just drag him down onto the timeline. Okay, now this is one of my uh, big turns, and I'll link above there how I actually got these animated big turns animations on um, Final Cut Pro. Okay, well, there she is. Now what we're going to do, we're going to make this little guy move from the left hand side of the screen to the right hand side of the screen, okay? But the first thing we need to do is to shrink the guy. So I'm just going to get rid of some of this to make it a little bit easier. Okay, so we're just going to shrink him down a little bit. Drop him down so he looks like he's driving on the road. Move him off screen. Okay, and then we're gonna have a look at our Y thing there. So that's 418. So he's gonna drive on a level road. So 418 is about there. Once we've got him off the screen, we're gonna start from the beginning of the clip. All right? Then we're going to click on Transform. We're going to make sure all those are lit up. Then we're going to bring it to the other end of the clip. And hit Transform again. Make sure they're all lit up. Then we're going to drag this guy so he's right at the other disappearing. Making sure that's about 418, which is so it's on a level road. We're going to click done. Okay, now let's see if that works. We'll hit play. There you go. How easy was that? No individual keyframes. It was just a selecting two areas. So that worked out well. Let's try something a bit different. We're going to click another, going to select this guy here. We're going to bring him on the timeline. Let's just going to use this timeline down here. So we're going to drag him down. Okay. Then we're just going to get rid of the background again using the keyframe or the key, whatever you call it. Make sure it's on there. Okay, so again, here we go. All right. So once again, we're going to get rid of this bit. Uh, nice. So once we've got a little fella down, what I want to do is I want him to go from the right hand screen to the left. So I want him. I'm going to flick him around. Otherwise, he'll be riding his bike backwards. Okay, then I'm going to shrink him to about there. I'm going to bring him down. He's going to be just off screen. Okay, so then I'll bring that to the beginning of the frame that I want him to start. Okay, so hit transform, bring that up a bit so I can see what I'm doing. Hit transform. All right. So, we're going to bring that to the middle of the screen. Then we're going to bring the bike to roughly the centre of the screen. We're going to have the guy do a wheel stand. So, I'm going to bring do a wheel stand. Bring him up. So, he's still on the road, so to speak. Okay, that's the first part. Then we're going to move that to the end of the screen. Hit transform again. Then we're going to move them 
out of the frame, but I don't want them to come back down again. So we're going to make him come back down. We're going to drop him so that he's back on the road again. And then just off screen. Okay, so it's done. And we'll just see how that went. Here he comes, coming up, doing a ghoul stand. He's really good. Look at that. Beautiful. Then he's going to come back down again. All that, once again, without doing all these multiple keyframes. It was virtually just two steps. One last thing, so we're going to do something now without the animation. We're just going to pick a, an image. So there's an image that I created using the creator. I'll have a link down the bottom for that. I'm going to put him down there. Okay, so we're going to shrink him a little bit. We're going to drag him just outside the screen. We're going to start him at the beginning. I'm going to make this one a little bit bigger so that we can um, make it take a little bit longer so it can be like a smooth flight across the screen. Okay, so I'm going to select him again. We'll start him about there. And hit transform. And he's just going to come in about there. Then we're going to go a little bit more. And he's going to come in a little bit more. See what I'm doing? So you can do this frame by frame. If you do it frame by frame, it will take a lot longer, but it will be a lot smoother. So I'm just jumping a whole heap of frames. And... I think it's going to work all right. We'll have a look when I'm done. So I'm trying to... Probably need to go a little bit further there. When I come to the end of the screen, on my timeline, my little guy is going to be flying out. You get my drift, so he's going to be just up a little bit more there. And then for the final bit, he's going to be off screen and he's going to just zoom out. Okay, so done. Just hit play, see what happens. Had that little bit of a pause at the beginning, I should have moved them a little bit more. But you get, you get the drift, don't you guys? That's how you move objects on Final Cut Pro. So, um, yeah. And he's a dog. So, once again, it's Peter from my Bonza channel. I really hope you liked this video, that it was a bit informative. Now that you know how to uh, move objects using Final Cut Pro 10, I hope that you'll produce a video and let me know so that I can come and check it out. Hope to see you for this week's Laughaholics. Guys, Peter from my Bonza channel. Catch you later. Don't forget, subscribe, bell, hit all, so you don't miss out on future videos. Catch you later, guys.